Hey everyone, it's DC here and today I'm going to explain to you exactly what a SOC analyst does on a typical day at work. Raise the alarm! to make this video um, because I've seen a lot of misinformation around on the internet around what a SOC analyst uh, actually does on a day-to-day -day basis and um, hopefully this video helps to clear the water. So let's dive straight in. A SOC analyst role is to provide support by uh, ensuring that company information is protected in accordance with the needs of the business uh, and according to information security principles of availability, integrity, and confidentiality. Um, yes, I did read that off the script because I couldn't remember it exactly. Now, a typical day for a SOC analyst usually involves the following tasks, um, but this list isn't uh, in any particular order because things do get moved around as priorities change, um, but at least it'll give you a sort of general idea of what you might be doing. So. Number one, monitor and analyze the network traffic of your SLTT, which is a state, local, tribal, and territorial uh, in government uh, members for malicious activity. Number two is respond to emails and phone calls from the SLTT members regarding multi-state information sharing and uh, analysis center or MSISAC or MS ISAC, some people call it, uh, and the Electronics Infrastructure Information Sharing and Analysis Center, also known as the EI ISAC, uh, notifications and any cyber incidents they may be experiencing. Number three, you will need to add, remove, or update IP addresses and domains provided to you from members interested in passive monitoring services. Uh, some members of these uh, SOC analyst boards, I guess, are um, smaller organizations, sometimes government, sometimes not, and they want help with their cybersecurity needs. So that, that's what that sort of means. Uh, number four, collaborate with intelligence team, uh, the intelligence team and the computer emergency uh, response team to ensure that you are aware of any cyber trends that could impact SLTT entities. Number five, you're going to be monitoring open source resources for nefarious postings that include the data of any SLTT entities. So that's sort of like the, the main overview of tasks that you, you're probably gonna end up doing day to day. Um, how you do those things is a lot of reading and quite a few meetings. Um, you might've seen in my uh, day in the life of a cybersecurity professional, most of my day is meetings or sitting at the computer just working away. That's exactly what I'm doing. So there are three major sort of high level uh, responsibilities uh, of a SOC analyst, which are governance, project reviews, and external liaison. Um, so I'll, I'll dive into those a little bit more from my run sheet here. So. Uh, governance is all about ensuring that the SOC delivery for information security aligns with policies, related standards and guidelines that the request of the governance specialist has given. Number two, assist in the delivery of information security consultancy across a wide range of technology issues to technology and business leaders and their teams. Uh, so under project review, you're going to be assisting the SOC specialist in ins ensuring all relevant technical standards and policy documentation is reviewed and maintained throughout each of the SOC technical capabilities. Uh, you're also going to be assisting in ensuring that all the relevant request forms for each of the SOC capabilities have been completed correctly, assessed and actioned in a timely manner under the supervision of the SOC specialist. Uh, with external liaison, you will assist the SOC specialist with the management of technical relationships uh, with key personnel within technology providers and ensure uh, all issues or problems are followed up and dealt with appropriately. Uh, you will also represent the information security team 
often at the meetings, uh, which says here internal and external meetings and forums as agreed by the SOC manager and specialist. Uh, usually the SOC specialist will be the one who goes along to the meetings, but sometimes he's busy doing something or whatever it is, and the analyst or analyst, just one, will be sent along to those meetings instead to relay that information. Um, I've got here a typical job description um, list of responsibilities for a SOC analyst. So let's get into that real quick. You will need to be responsible for working in a 24-7 security operations center environment. Uh, you will need to provide analysis and trending of security log data from a large number of heterogeneous security devices. Um, usually that's done through something like Splunk um, or whatever their firewall admin solution is that they, they use to go through those logs. Uh, you'll need to provide incident response support when analysis confirms uh, actionable incident. You'll need to provide threat and vulnerability analysis as well as security advisory services. With a lot of the next-gen firewalls, you actually uh, get most of the information fed to you in reports, but you still need to create your own reports uh, based on that information that fits the business's uh, requirements and what they actually want to know and what they can understand. A lot of the time you are talking to uh, IT illiterate people, sometimes. You never know, it changes. Uh, where was I? You need to provide, I need to analyze and respond to previously undisclosed software and hardware vulnerabilities. Uh, these usually get reported to you by the pen testers uh, or external audits that get done by pen testers usually, um, and you need to then action those items. Uh, you'll need to investigate, document, and report on information security issues and emerging trends. A lot of this is gathered by information on the internet, such as CVEs. Uh, they're super important to pretty much everyone in cybersecurity, um, and it's, it's important to, you don't have to read all of them, just get the general overview of what's happening. Uh, you will need to coordinate with uh, Intel analysts on open source activities impacting SLTT governments. Yep. You will need to integrate and share information with analysts on other teams. Yes. Uh, so all the analysts aren't usually in one SOC. They're usually spread out across many, especially in the government. There's, there's heaps and heaps. They're all over the place. You guys need to talk to each other and keep your team going. Uh, that's pretty much that list for job description. So uh, other miscellaneous tasks and responsibilities will be assigned to you as required, but your main focus is what I have just said. Uh, sometimes SOC analysts are put into a sprint, uh, which basically means you have to do what you have been assigned as part of a project, uh, and nobody can take that away from you. Uh, they, can't take, they can't move those specific tasks at all, unless of course they want to break the sprint which means they're going to be personally responsible for anything that goes wrong, which no one ever does. If you're in a sprint, you're in a sprint and you don't get out of whatever you're doing. Um, so yeah, I hope this uh, information has been helpful to you all. Um, as always, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you have any questions, leave me a comment below or uh, have a chat with me on my Discord channel. The link is in the description. I'll catch you guys later. Have a good day.